I'd imagine it would often relate to the regular target of a narcissist, designed to make their so look, act or feel upset, angry, or embarrassed, in public. Having worked in bars and nightclubs for many years, I saw many displays of this nasty behavior, even before I knew what a narc was. One time as I was leaving a club, a young man with a very pretty young girl on his arm passed me by. He suddenly stopped, turned around to get a better look, and said to his GF in a loud voice, now that's what I call a well put together, fine ass woman. I was shocked, and I felt just horrible for his poor GF. I turned around around and said to him, I have no idea how you ever managed to get a woman as pretty and classy as she is, to date such a classless, crude idiot as you are. I looked at the girl, expecting her to at least half smile, but she instead clung on tighter to that ASSH asterisk la, and giving me a dirty look, she just stared at the ground. I'd have loved to have smacked that jerk. He'd hit a nerve, reminding me of all of the horrible comments my first narc had said to me, and it hit me really hard. Other types of common public baiting are saying things like, I see you wore your favorite outfit, again. Don't you think you're more than a bit, underdressed, to be seen in a place like this? But if that were true, he, she could have mentioned it before you left the house, so it's obvious that it's an intentional dig designed to make you feel insecure or shabby. My first husband was the king of the narc ASSH asterisk less, and he really knew how to make comments that cut me to the bone. The first time we took our newborn son out in public, he was a week old. It had been a very rough and dangerous delivery, and I still felt pretty awful. As he opened the door to the restaurant, he spotted a woman that he'd dated briefly, after I'd broken up with him the first time. She hadn't yet seen us, as he leaned in towards me, and said in my ear, well damn, at least she still looks good. After 10 long years of his put-downs, my self-esteem was really shot to hell. The worst slight emo, was on a long ride home, after an awesome week-long ski trip, with our two kids. We stopped to get some fast food, and after our food arrived, I could literally feel him just staring daggers at me. When I looked up, he'd said, God, aren't you even embarrassed? I was puzzled by his remark, as he continued by saying, I can't understand how all of these people here can even eat, looking at that gross, disgusting, acne all over your face. I feel sick just looking at it, haven't you ever heard of seeing a, doctor? In that moment, I can still remember wanting to climb underneath the table and hide, my shame was that polarizing and all-consuming. My, horrible acne, was one single zit, on the side of my jaw during PMS week, but really I believed that I was a disgusting, sickening sight, that everyone must be staring at. That's some really sad sh asterisk t, but it's a favorite and very common narc game. I can't believe I let my first narc get over on me that way, but when we began dating I was 15. Years later, I felt like he must know the, real me. I'd been a happy, secure, fairly attractive girl when we'd met, but over the years he seemed to live to try to demolish me, 